So in this video, we're going to look at an interesting application of matrices uh, in terms of geometry. And in fact, my grad class I took this summer, the first half of it really just dealt with the next three videos that you're going to see, just more in depth. So um, it's, it's kind of interesting stuff. Um, but the first thing I want to point out is that I have a triangle up here. I have three points, A, B, and C. And uh, I plotted them, and I made a little triangle out of them. So you go ahead and do the same. And I, I have a little star next to a comment here, which is that points in the x uh, in the coordinate plane can be represented by one by two matrices. So what I mean is that we can view a, you know, we can write a the way we wrote it above, but we could also view a. Uh, as a one by two matrix that just looks like this. Okay, and, and the reason we're going to do that is because we're actually going to multiply we're going to multiply that point or the matrix that represents that point A times another matrix, and we're going to see what happens. So, so here's let's just uh, start with an example. I'm going to take A as a matrix three, one, and I'm going to multiply it times this matrix here that I came up with and you're gonna notice when we do this to all the, when you multiply all the points by this matrix uh, something interesting is gonna happen so let's do this multiplication first of all this is a this is a, um, a 1 by 2 matrix and this is a 2 by 2 which means that the multiplication can happen because these inner numbers match and the result is going to be a one uh, a one by two so let's get that set up a one by two all right now let's do the multiplication it'll be pretty quick three times one three times one plus one times zero gives us my first entry and that's a three and then we do 3 times 0 plus 1 times negative 1 gives me a negative 1. Okay, so far so good. Let's do the multiplication on the B point. So I'm going to represent that as a matrix 3, 4, and then I'm going to multiply times this matrix here 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And when we do that, we get 3 times 1 plus 4 times 0 gives me 3, and then if I do the next entry, I get 3 times 0 plus 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. And lastly, let's do C. So C we have is 8, 1. And we do the multiplication, we get 8 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is 8. And then 8 times 0 plus 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1. Okay, so so what just happened? Well, what happened was I just told you to multiply these three point these three matrices by this special matrix I'm draw you know, this 1, 0, 0, negative 1 matrix. And we get another basically we get another point here. In written in matrix form. So I'm going to call this A prime because it's like the new version of A. This is B prime and this is C prime. And let's go plot them and you're going to see something something interesting happened. So A prime is 3 negative 1. And B prime is 3 negative 4. And C prime is 8, negative 1. And so let's, I guess use a different color here. Let's draw like the new version of the triangle. And notice how it relates to the old one, right? It just got flipped over the x-axis. So what does that mean? That means that this matrix, so let's, let's write what that means over here. So this is pretty cool because it means that multiplying by So 
So let's start this. This is important. Multiplying by this matrix uh, 1, 0, 0, negative 1. I mean, what did that do to all of our points? It reflected them over the x-axis, right? So multiplying by that matrix has the function of reflecting points. So that reflects points across the x-axis. Which is kind of cool. I mean, it's like a it's like an algorithm, almost like an algorithm, algorithm, I should say. You can, you could program a computer to just, you could input points, and if you could make it, uh, if you had this matrix here, it could just translate all your shapes, uh, at least in this way, by, by reflecting them across the x-axis. So that's the cool thing about matrices, is they actually have some, some function, uh, some functionality when you're doing, um, when you're, when you're dealing with the geometry of them, so. That's kind of cool. So that we just looked at one example uh, of a matrix that flips. So this matrix here, uh, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, flips things over the x-axis. Um, I challenge you to think of the one that would reflect points over the y-axis to see if you can figure that one out. But let me show you what like the general proof would look like. If you wanted to be pretty rigorous, the proof would be... So, I mean, the proof would be just take any point x, y, write it in this matrix form, and if you multiply it by times 1, 0, 0, negative 1, you'll see that you get x times 1 plus y times 0 is just x, and x times 0 plus y times negative 1 is negative y. So there's your proof. It takes any point and sends it. So it takes any point and it sends it to the point x negative y. So the x coordinates are the same. And if you look up here, that's that's true of a a prime and b and b prime and c and c prime, but the y coordinate got ref, got uh, reflected, so it's the op now the opposite of the of the y coordinate. So anyway, that's just one cool example of how matrices can can uh, serve to make reflections in the x y plane. And so we'll look at a few more examples of cool transformations using matrices in uh, future videos.